Welcome back to the Transport Bandits. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimples. And now you're watching the fun side of RV transport. We are the fun side of RV transport because we have just delivered to Dependable RV in Anchorage, Alaska. Super nice people. Oh too. my gosh, I can't believe how nice everyone yeah. was there at Dependable RV. And they, they knew the transport bandits. Eric, the owner, came out and wanted his picture taken with Mr. Bones. Can you believe that? Somebody all the way up here in Anchorage, Alaska knew who the transport yeah, was. The worst was. thing about That's it is, crazy. The worst thing about it is Mr. Bones don't care. <laughs> he doesn't care when he they get care this if picture somebody about. Likes him. <laughs> he doesn't care if somebody knows him. He's dead. This is Mr. Bones right here. Take a look. He says hi. Look at him. He don't care if somebody thinks he's famous. He doesn't care if somebody wants to meet him. He's dead. He wanted his picture taken with Mr. Bones. He didn't care anything about me and Cheryl. <laughs> no. He knew who we were. That is such an awesome recognition to come all the way up the Alaska Highway. No, all the way to Alaska. We That's met crazy. another transporter who um, knew who we were. Yeah. And then we delivered to Anchorage, Alaska. And the owner of Dependable RV knew who we were. Knew who we were. That's crazy. That's Thank crazy. you, Eric. If you're watching... We love you. Thank you. And we will bring a you know camper what? up here to you anytime. Thanks, everybody out there that watches us. We appreciate it. We really do. We really do. All of our fans and everybody who watches us, we know who you are. You leave comments all the time. Yeah. And we want to thank each and every one of you. Hopefully, we get to meet you guys, too, someday. And you can get your picture with Mr. Bones. So, anyway, <laughs> here we, we're in downtown anchorage alaska now. yeah we're downtown anchorage alaska and we're going to start the fun side of rv transport because we have now dropped the camper and have nothing on the back yeah but it's just semi fun right now it was really fun i was on my way to the restaurant to get cheryl the deadliest catch and me some cod or halibut halibut or something delicious like that yeah and then she looks up the street and said Alaska souvenirs. <laughs> so naturally, we got to go to the souvenir store. Got to go in Alaska souvenirs first. So we are going to on this video. We don't have any idea what we're going to be doing in this way of having fun here in Alaska. I know one thing. But we are re on reset now, so we are good to go. Yep, I know one thing. What? I'm hungry right now. Yeah. And taking you to the souvenir store uh -huh. is going to work up quite an appetite. All right. Oh, and we want to say thank you to Bettina, who is um, an employee at Dependable RV. Yeah, she transports for him. Yeah, Whatever. and uh, she she transports all. She flies down to the lower 48 yeah. and then gets a truck and a camper and brings it back up here. Like on a weekly basis, she takes that Alaska Highway. Yeah. That's amazing. She's, she's super nice. That is fantastic, and she has offered her cabin to us for the for a couple of nights. Yeah. So we might hang out here in Anchorage for one night, and then we might go over to her cabin for a couple of nights. Yeah. We're going to get to go to her cabin on the Kenai Peninsula. Either way, it doesn't matter if I'm sleeping in my truck, a hotel, or her cabin. We're going to have a great time, and we're bringing you with us. Awesome. Let's go. Okay, we're in front of Trapper Jack's. Trading Post, one of the most famous places to get your Alaska souvenirs right here in downtown Anchorage. Let's go in here and see how much money of that load we just made <laughs> that Cheryl can spend in here. I'm gonna get me something, Alaska. Too bad. Rocking a new hat, Alaska hat. 
and a magnet and a uh, Christmas ornament. So not too much out of out money there. Humphreys grill, but I think we're going to go to the Moose's Tooth. That's also been recommended. We are here at the Moose's Tooth. We've been messaging with John Webster on the RV Transporter Group. He lives here in Anchorage. He had been so generous to offer us the use of a road glide while we were here, which would be awesome to ride around on yeah, a bike. Just past him. And then we were riding downtown, and I said, man, that's a nice bike. He's living the good life. And Jeff's like, yeah, hey, bro. <laughs> and he waves. Yeah, and it was and him. we wave. It was him. Yeah. I just got a message for him. So he is coming here to meet with us to eat here at the Moose's Toot. So let's go and meet John Webster. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. Oh, it's so beautiful. We're coming up to the Moose's Tooth. We were recommended the Moose's Tooth. And we're going to try it out. Look at these mozzarella sticks. Oh my gosh. These are breadsticks. Look at this. And the nachos. That's the Alaska Experience Theater. All right, we're gonna head into Big Ray's Alaskan Outfitters. Take a look at this. That is a sled dog sled right there. And what's your name? Ruthie. Ruthie? Yeah. How long have you been working here at Big Ray's? Uh, almost two months. Two months? You like it here? I do. I awesome. actually uh, was shopping here, and then when I was looking for a job, I decided to come here because I've shopped here so much. Mm -hmm. I knew a lot of the products. Awesome. So this is the girl you want to come and see. She knows everything that there is to know about all the stuff and gear here in Big Ray's. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now let's go do some shopping. All right, now, okay, everybody, listen to this. Okay, repeat what you just told my husband. About to check. So the this is a Yukon Extreme uh, made by Carhartt. It's a thousand Cordura, so it's really fine, so you still get a lot of movement. They actually um, put a little extra material in the back, so if you notice, you got a lot more movement around. Um, so it's right going to stop flames. It's not going to be FR retardant, but it's going to definitely help with uh, getting those sparks out. But, he flame just, retardant. He just said it's, <laughs> wait a minute. No, he just said it's self-extinguishing. Self-extinguishing jacket? Yeah, Cordura is just naturally self-extinguishing. So it, it likes to smother itself instead of uh, letting air go through it. So it just suffocates it and it stops breathing. Okay. All right. So my evil plan of setting you on fire. This is the Yukon Extreme. <laughs> it's not going to work out if you're wearing that jacket. This is the Yukon Extreme. Yukon Extreme. I'm going home with this jacket. It's waterproof, and the dude said it's self-extinguishing. <laughs> so if I catch myself on fire, it'll go out. <laughs> there you go. That's the jacket for you, honey. <laughs> awesome. We have left Anchorage, and we are headed um, east now around Turnigan Arm, where some of the world's largest tides can be found. In fact, they have the boar tide that comes um, here that you can actually surf on when you can see that. We will try and get that in a later video, maybe on the way back because the tide is not in right now, but maybe at four o'clock tomorrow we'll catch that.
right there becomes almost like a quicksand. So they've got signs and they tell everybody, do not cross on that mud. So do not go walking out there. spend the night in Seward tonight and uh, see what we can get into tomorrow and uh, head on over to Bettina's cabin tomorrow night. Let's get on down to Seward and if we, we still can't believe this scenery. It's jaw dropping. Take a look at this. signal to see who's asking me a question. I don't want to take my eyes off the road. It's what we're looking at right now. Every corner you take, every road, offshoot, every direction you start to turn in, it's something that is amazing. I can't believe we've had this opportunity. Tell you what, this blew my mind. I haven't thought about that big beaver all day. <laughs> if you haven't seen the big beaver video, check the big beaver video. The world's largest beaver in Beaver Lodge. But we are headed into Seward now. We're just a few more miles away. Remember, if you like this video, you're going to press that like button. You're going to hit that notification bell. You're going to comment down below. And you're going to subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed and all of my followers if you have subscribed i appreciate you guys so much thank you let's get to seward and i can see resurrection bay is just starting to happen the alaska railroad will pick up cruise passengers and take them to anchorage and further on if they want to we met our friends celia and steve matthews here uh, back in 2005 they were taking a cruise and we were camping here and it just so happened that we were able to meet up with them and hike up to uh, exit glacier we were bringing our own camper all the way up to Seward we stayed at Miller's campground right there on Resurrection Bay the Eagles were so thick they were sitting on the camper while we were camping I thought it was great to begin with until about the third day when uh, they were kind of a nuisance. So I was out there with a broom sweeping eagles off the top of the <laughs> camper. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, we have made it to the end of the road. This is Resurrection Bay. Man, it's beautiful. 
look at this. The campground is right here in Seward and it's right on Resurrection Bay. Might not have the most beautiful grounds, but you've got the most beautiful view. So, we made it to Seward, Alaska. And it's just gorgeous here. And we um, are going to stay here in the Seward Hotel, the historic Seward Hotel. Take a look at this place. It's pretty cool. I found the other half of that polar bear. Oh, there's the other half right there. Oh my gosh, there's a muskox. There, there it is. Bear. Look how big a polar bear is. Yeah, that's a small one. Yep. Yeah. And what about the muskox? He's cool. He is cool. I mean, you know, we got like a lynx there. This yeah. polar bear up there. We got the muskox here. But you want to know something? What? They don't nut of them compared to that big beaver. <laughs> oh, brother. I'm never going to hear the end of it the world's largest beaver in Beaver Lodge. All right, hey, look look at that. That's, That's crazy. Terrible. Hey, don't push me all the way. I'm showing off my self-extinguishing coat. <laughs> if I catch fire, this coat extinguishes itself. Uh-oh, look, look there. Well, good morning from Resurrection Bay in Alaska. Well, we are having a fabulous trip up here to Alaska. You know that we delivered our unit yesterday. And now that we have dropped off, this is the fun side of RV transport because we can do whatever we want till we get back and get another load. Take a look at that scenery. And as we have it here in Seward, Alaska on Resurrection Bay, there is the Sea Life Center, and we are going to check that out today. My brother used to work here, and he made some phone calls. He's going to get us in for free. Thank you, Derek. I love you so much. My brother, Derek, worked as the curator of mammals at the Sea Life Center here in Seward, Alaska. He made a phone call, and we're getting to go in to see the aquarium now. So come with us. We're going to take a look at the aquarium, and we don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day. You're going to come along with us. We may see dog sleds. We may see glaciers. Who knows? Maybe we'll see a big beaver. <laughs> or a narwhal. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so let's go check out the aquarium. This Alaska Sea Life Center here in Seward, Alaska. Let's go. Check out this view of Resurrection Bay. Right there is where they had the big landslide last week. And right here at the Alaska Sea Life Center, we're at mile zero. zero of the Iditarod. And the Iditarod is a 1,100 mile, uh, I think it's like Anchorage, but this is actually mile zero. This is Seward. It goes from Seward to Nome. Told her she didn't have to explain what Dad did a rod was. Everybody on the planet knows what Dad did a rod <laughs> it's is. It's a dog mushing sled dog race um, with, you know, the mushers have like 12 to 16 dogs. Sled Everybody dogs. Everybody on the planet knows what you Dad know did a rod is. You know what the idea a rod is, right? Yeah, you do. <laughs> if you don't, then figure it out. <laughs> but, Jeff, look this. Yeah. Trailblazers. This is the statue here commemorating the Iditarod Trailblazers. That's what we are. We're trailblazing. 
And this is all part of the fun side of RV transport. It'll start on the second floor. All right, Alaska's coastline stretches nearly 45,000 miles. This is a map of Alaska, and we are located right here in Seward. Look how big Alaska is. So I just found out that Seward is one of the top 20 ports for the value amount of fish that they bring in. All right, can you can you spot it? Can you spot it? Look at this. That's crazy. This is one too. Did you see it? Look at that, we give it a touch tank. One to two fingers, that's the most that we don't pick up or move any of the guys around. If y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, cause that's what I'm here for. So this lady, this nice young lady here tells me, that if you mess with the starfish too much, their arm will separate. It'll separate itself. Because now, they feel endangered, so their their arm will just separate off of their body. Exactly. So now I did everything to try and convince her to allow <laughs> me to make one of these starfish think it's in trouble and it will separate its leg for you. Because she, she, he thinks that would make good video, but we're we're not endangering any starfish today, exactly, or any other day. Nope. <laughs> so you'll have to wait <laughs> and be a JA at a later time. <laughs> we exactly. would never harm. By the way, as a disclaimer in this YouTube video, we would never harm an animal ever in any case. Okay, here's one that's already got like two or three legs separated. That's where somebody well, touched it too much. He's a savage. Look at he was that. just like, I'm not having this, I'm done. Boop. Yep, he really? just left his arm. He's mm -hmm. like, I don't like to be picked up anymore. That's why he's called the blood sea star. This is a so blood is sea star. Mm -hmm. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? And what about that guy, what's he? This guy here? Yes. That is the rose sea star. Oh my gosh, and look at the crab there. Now what's that crab doing on him? That is a decorator crab. And he's decorating the rose sea star. <laughs> oh, they're saying, hi. look, they're shaking hands. Just hanging out. Awesome. Everybody likes this crab. Awesome. Nobody likes the other one. <laughs> well, thank you very much for putting up with my JA. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> We're having a great time here at the Sea Life Center. I believe, I understand. <laughs> Thank God our sea stars can live to see another day. These guys here are super strong. They can like pretty much jimmy open any clamshell or whatever with their tentacles and then they insert their stomachs inside to the clamshell to feed. That is so amazing. Look at these guys. Eight to twenty arms. Sunflower sea stars. Mm -hmm. They're wow. the largest, the softest, and the fastest sea stars that we know of. Awesome. So they can grow to be three feet in diameter. They can move five to ten feet in a matter of minutes. Uh, and they live at the deepest depths, so they are extremely soft to the touch. Wow. Hey, buddy. Wow. Really interesting fact. If they separate their arm from their body, that arm will grow a whole nother sea star. They don't have a heart, they don't have a brain, they use water to flow through themselves. So we have found out that the starfish, yeah. if they lose an arm, it will produce a whole nother starfish. Yeah, but the people taking care of the animals here won't let me pull one of the arms off. <laughs> yeah. 
And I told her if we pulled the arm off, yeah, it would grow into another starfish, and the starfish I pulled the arm off of would grow another arm. He'd probably reach up there and go, give me a fist bump, say, thanks, buddy, got myself a little baby there. <laughs> no, I don't I, think so. Not helping. Uh, yeah, you're not helping the starfish to reproduce. Take this dude to the sea lions. Let's see if Pilot is here. My brother knows Pilot, the big lazy sea lion. Let's check it out. Okay, this is baby coho salmon. These little guys are going to grow up and be delicious. <laughs> we have the Chinook salmon, we have the pink salmon, we have the sockeye salmon, the coho salmon, and the chum salmon. All right, let's go out here and take a look at this beautiful Resurrection Bay. And there's the landslide that happened last Friday. Yeah, it's going to take them a while to get rid of that. Okay, we're going to come down the stairs now into the lower decks of the aquarium or of the sea life center and these are the seals and this is a skate Okay, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Now that's what I call camouflage. Over here we have some sole, we have some flounder, we have halibut, we have some perch. Take a look at this. And halibut. And this is the red king crab. Thanks for joining us for our tour of the Sea Life Center here in Seward, Alaska. Now let's go see what else we can do. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, let's go. No animals were <laughs> injured in the production of this video. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go see what else we can get into here in Seward, Alaska. Hey, Jeff, where are we going? We're going to, we're going to raise waterfront. We're going to go seafood to seafood and steaks. Raise waterfront seafood and steaks. I'm going to try and get deadliest catch right here. This is definitely where we ate 17 years ago when we were here. All right, we're gonna we're watching for sea lion right now from our table here at Rays. This is our view. That's a cruise ship in the background, and the kind lady right behind us just notified me that there is a sea lion popping its head up here. We will try and get that for you. There it is, right there. Okay, I've got it. There it is. Deadliest catch. <laughs>
Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> but we're, gosh, dude, it. you know, it's all part of the experience, right? Jeff, how's your cause? I had the king crab legs. The king crab legs, dead legs catch. And he had the cod. Wild cod. cod. His was delicious. Never frozen. Well, mine was. It came right out of the sea, right there. <laughs> yeah. To this building right here beside of us. <laughs> processed and then sent to the restaurant. Yeah, that's awesome. Delicious. Never frozen. Caught wild. It was good. Mm. Very good. Very good. My king Ooh, crab. Was good. <laughs> My king crab legs were very good, but you know they're very expensive and you don't get that much for the price. So I used like my birthday money, which I had left over from last year. And, uh, <laughs> Didn't use your birthday money. <laughs> Here is the Alaska Railroad. The Seward Alaska Train Depot is right here on the docks. Mr. Bones don't care, you know why. Yeah, I realize that signs that do not enter, but I'm entering. I don't so think I it's want to videotape this train. I don't think it's a problem, honey. Not much traffic up here. But this is where you would board the Alaska Railroad. It will take you up to Anchorage, and they even run all the way to Denali and up to Fairbanks. You know what, Cheryl? What? I think Jason Grinnell is going to like this. Yeah, he is. Okay, we're back. We have not gone and done anything crazy after leaving the Alaska Sea Life Center. We have set up and did a live from Alaska. So all of you who watched our live from Alaska, thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Even though we had major technical difficulties getting signal in the beginning. Yeah. That was, was crazy. Mess. But you know But it always is. This video is gonna come up long after the live because the live is live, like right now. Yeah, you You're see, watching a video yeah, from you know, that was made a week or so ago. Yeah, so. you see the transport band is live, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> yeah. It's like finding <laughs> on our, a, on our part it's like because finding a four leaf clover or something. <laughs> it's like finding a, a rainbow colored narwhal, right? Yeah, but it'll be like that. <laughs> no, we we're not the most professional people in the world, so you know how that goes. It, all this technology and blonde doesn't go together you know <laughs> it just doesn't work but we were able to go live and we had a great time with everybody so if you did watch that live if you haven't watched the live from Alaska you can go back and watch it right now this is what it looks like right here that's the thumbnail for it right there and I will have it also at the end of this video or description of it in the link if I remember to put the description in the link uh, I mean the link in the description Anyway, we are going to travel on out of Seward and go find us a cabin that our friend Bettina, who is a transporter, has generously offered for us to stay in. So what you're going to get to see now is our travel through the most highly concentrated moose area, even though I don't know if we'll see any moose. We'll see. But we're going to go look for moose now on the way to the cabin. Let's go. Let's go. And this is the view that we had while we did our live. Mr. Bones don't care. He's dead. You know why, right? You know why? Because he's dead. This is the view that we had while we did our live here in Seward, Alaska. Let's say goodbye to this beautiful place on Resurrection Bay. And so we're going to say goodbye to the town of Seward now. You, all you guys on the live wanted to see what the town is like. Uh, uh, I showed a little bit of it earlier in this video, and um, this is basically it right here. Look at that. Some good seafood here. A couple of hotels, some stores, a couple of gift shops. But it's beautiful out today. Everybody's enjoying the day.
go on a whale watching cruise there. There's the marina back behind there. That's where we ate earlier was Ray's Waterfront Dining. Somebody asked, was this a tourist town? It is when the cruise ship is. Uh, yeah, so it is kind of a, cruise, a tourist town, but like really nothing in the that we have in the lower 48 that would classify as a tourist town um, because it basically ends right here. It's very small. And you can, it is sewered that you can take the Alaska Railway back up to Anchorage. Let's go and hunt for some moose now. They've had a lot of fire damage here at some point. Just like that, the mountains are gone. We've still been looking for moose, but haven't found any yet, um, haven't seen any yet. I don't know what they're doing out there, but it's not from lack of trying. Alright, we're on our way to the cabin. This is going to be awesome. Thank you, Bettina. Alright, it's Mr. Bones approved. This is awesome. What you got there, Jeff? And not only do I have a cabin to stay in, I got a welcome to Alaska hat. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see it. Stay still. Oh, that's all right. And, and the, so do you. So do I. Awesome. Thank you, Bettina. We really appreciate it. Let's go check this place out. This it's one. so cute. Oh, it's so cute in here. It is awesome. Thank you so much. What do you think, Jeff? Pretty cool, I have to say. I wouldn't <laughs> mind having one. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, Bettina. We're going to be on the hunt to buy you out. And we have some nice quiet woods. Hoping that Thelma the moose will come by, but not sure if that's going to happen or not. But we will keep a lookout. Mr. Dimples is loving it. I'm sorry, Bettina, but I gotta show you how cute the decorated this uh, little cabin is. It's just so cute, looks so great. I love it. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, we're going to go to sleep now. We're going to enjoy this cabin that Bettina left for us to use. It is so comfy. Look at these hats. It's we're rocking the hats, Bettina. Thank you so much. I love this cabin. This cabin looks like it should be in some kind of magazine. She yeah. has decorated this thing. It is ridiculous how it, cozy it is. It's so cute. It is beautiful. I'm going to sleep beautiful. like a baby. Thank you. We, um, we may buy you out. <laughs> this is good night for now. We're going to shut it down. We're going to enjoy this cabin life right here, and we will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We have left the cabin. Yeah, unfortunately we did. I loved it. Thank you, Bettina, for letting us stay in that beautiful little cabin. It was wonderful. We had a great night's sleep, shower. Yeah. It was awesome. You know, I would like to have stayed there a couple more nights. But we've got an unfortunate situation. Yeah, we do. Um, it's, not, it's not unfortunate for us. Uh, it's unfortunate for another driver. This morning we woke up. I had an email from our dispatcher, Judy, saying that we have a driver broke down on the other side of Anchorage. And um, his, apparently, his CP3, CP4 pump has gone out. So he's in bad trouble. And well, he see, is, not only did his CP4 pump go out, but he didn't have the disaster relief kit. So it's went all through his uh, fuel injection system, it's all screwed up, uh, the fuel tank, it's going to have little bits of metal all through the fuel system. That's why we have the disaster relief kit. But uh, Because that CP4 pump yeah. is going to go. Yeah. It will go bad one day. Right. So. Uh, our plans, you know, immediately, we don't even think about it. We are on it. So we were going to stay another night in the cabin, go down to Homer or Whittier or something like that. But instead, we are go headed, we are about three or four hours away from him. So, because um, we are still on the Kenai Peninsula, and it's about a three-hour drive back to him. Yeah, but that's very close. Yeah, considering... considering how big the distances are. We are like right on top of them. However, he only has until like 2 p.m. It's Sunday. Yeah. And he only has until 2 p.m. for them to accept deliveries. He has a fifth wheel. And um, since we can't get to him, get his fifth wheel out of the tow, because he had to have his fifth wheel towed. <coughs> and um, he can't get his fifth wheel out of the yard and all that. I don't, there's no way that we can make it, get it hooked up and get it to the dealership, which is Dependable RV, who we deliver to and are fantastic people at Dependable RV. But we are on our way. We transport bandits to the rescue. Um, we will get to him this afternoon. And since we can't get it delivered by 2 p.m., that's just not a factor. We would, we'll get it out of the impound yard or the tow yard hook it up in the morning, and deliver him and his unit to Dependable RV tomorrow. Um, so... Or just deliver his unit for him, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know how that's going to work out yet. Oh, we got some gravel construction. But it is a gorgeous morning here in Alaska. It's amazing. Take a look at these views. And we are, since we can't get there any later, and it's not going to do us any good to get there at o'clock today or at six o'clock today tonight since we can't do it till tomorrow we're going to travel on towards anchorage and stop in the wildlife conservatory yeah. um, park and look at some alaskan wildlife so we are going to do that on our way back so it's not a complete loss for the day and then we will make our way back to the stranded driver up in wasilla so let's go
Okay, we have made it to the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. At the very end of Turnigan Arm. Adults are $18. Alaska residents can get in for $16. And then we're gonna start here at the gift shop and welcome center for this place. He said that there was about six more animals behind the gift shop and then there's this uh, drive or walk combination. We got musk ox and moose over here at the barn. But we'll see those here in a few minutes. Let's go check this place out. Right, this is the gift shop. Okay, we are behind the gift shop now and there are some animals to view back here. So let's check this out. Let's go to Bison Hall. You know, I don't know why it can't be the two hours a day that cat's awake. Oh, he's talking about the uh, the Canada Lynx is in here, but he's in his little shelter fast asleep like all other cats <laughs> and can't see him. So cats sleep 22 hours a day. I don't know why it can't be the two hours that that cat is awake. Now I'm in Bison Hall and there's no bison in here. There will eventually be animals on this animal tour, won't they? Yeah, there will be. <laughs> All right, this is a hummingbird, a real put hummingbird. A band on its leg so that next year when it comes back, I'll know this is when we banded here. All right, you ready? You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's let the hummingbird go. All right. Relax my hand. You ready? It's going to fly off here in it's a gonna second. It's going to shoot right out this way. You think so? Yeah, I was waiting until this. It's an animal. It's unpredictable. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there Bye. he goes. <laughs> Bye. We have an owl and an American bald eagle. Let's take a look. Now this eagle arrived at the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center in 1995. He was found near a remote village in Alaska and had been shot. He cannot fly, so now his permanent home is here. His name is Adonis. Hey, we're going to go see the coyote now. This is Togiak. And this is a sleeping muskox. Take a look at this wildlife petting chart. Okay, um, think again. Ouch, vacation over. Um, no. Do you have insurance? How fast are you? And nope. <laughs> hey, let's go in the moose barn. In here? Canadian lynx. Canadian lynx. All right, let's take a look. Oh, there he is. That's pretty cool. He's big enough to cuddle. Oh, it's sweet. Reach in there and pet how sweet he is. <laughs> no, thank you. This is a moose. Man, they're big. Yeah, these swamp donkeys are pretty big. We will continue our tour. Okay, I want you to look how big this grizzly bear is. It's huge. Look at this guy, how beautiful.
This is the bull elk. They're just now growing their horns. You can see that. Here are the caribou. Remember, we saw those in the wild. We've got some great photographs of those when we saw those coming up the Alaska Highway in the Yukon. This is the very end or tip of Turnigan Arm, and we are headed down south to a good viewing point, hoping to see the boar tide, which is going to come in in about two hours from now. It's supposed to be one of the world's largest boar tides. If you know what a boar tide is, it's a huge wall of water that comes in due to the fluctuation of the moon. It's supposed to be about 31 feet today. Now, if you want to see all the wood bison that we saw that were wild alongside the road, check out this video. When we were coming up the Alaska Highway, they were just wild beside the road. Here is the elk, female elk. Here we have the wolves and the black bear. Oh, he's got himself a ball. He's showing them wolves when it's quite toy. We just had so much fun at the Wildlife Conservation Center here uh, near Girdwood, Alaska at the end of Turnigan Arm, which is about an hour or so south of Anchorage towards the Kenai Peninsula. All proceeds, everything you buy, anything you do here all goes towards the rehabilitation and the protection of the animals. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was great to get to see those animals that you see kind of far off in the wild really super up close. So come visit the Alaska Conservation Center here in um, Girdwood, Alaska. And we're headed to Bird Point to view the boar tide on Turnigan Arm. Do you see how low the tide is right now? We're gonna wait on that boar tide to fill all of that up. at Bird Point on Turnigan Arm and we are waiting for the boar tide. Like a 21 foot difference in the tide, some of the world's largest tide difference. Yeah, it's gonna be like a tidal wave coming through here. So we're gonna make sure we're in the truck. We've got the truck chained down front and back to keep it from getting washed away. <laughs> we're good. It's gonna come along, look at this view. Look at this, can you believe that? That is crazy. Just yeah. absolutely awesome here. We've had a great time. We took a video a minute ago, but I have some stuff in my beard. So he always has stuff in his beard. I think what I'm going to do is when the boar tide comes through, just put your beard down I'm there. just going to roll down the window and let the let the boar tide wash my beard. <laughs> yeah, he needs a good washing. <laughs> All right, the boar tide is supposed to be here, and we're waiting it out. They said anywhere between 20 or 30 minutes prior, and it's supposed to be here at like 4:30. So we're here, it's about quarter to four now. So we are waiting on that boar tide. All right, you guys Let's are gonna wait. get to see it here. We brought it to you, Transport Bandits. Remember, if you like the video, press that thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Okay. I'm doing this as a before video. And you can see that the, it's so, the water's so low, you can see like the sandbar in the middle there. Okay, we think we're, this is the boar tide, if you can see that coming in. Okay, you can see that there is a kayaker surfing the boar tide. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry that was a little less than uh, satisfying. Climactic. <laughs>
Um, I can't we, believe we, I we, sat here for an hour and a half for that. <laughs> like this tiny little wave come in and it said it was supposed to be like really? it said it was supposed to be like 21 feet it was like two feet tall or something very <laughs> disappointing anyway that's the way it goes when you're on the search for fun sometimes I'm devastated the, sometimes the fun doesn't work out but we've had a fantastic day today with the con uh, with the the shots that we got of the animals yeah. there in the you know, in the Alaska con um, conservation set place. Yeah, you know I enjoyed sitting here in the truck. <laughs> but that wave was. Just... The wave was a little um littler than we thought it would be. What do you mean littler than you thought it would be? <laughs> it was. You couldn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, we could see it a little bit further down. In any case, if you like this video, we're gonna wrap it up right now. We are on route to help another transporter. That's coming up in the next video. We are cutting our vacation short because there's a transporter who needs our help. Transport bandits to the rescue. Let's go help him out. He's Let's waiting go. on us. And so we are going to catch you guys on the next video heading out of Alaska or getting this transporter delivered to his unit and what's going on with him. If you like the video, hit that like button. Transport Bandits, out. out.